it's Ash from Super Videos back for another reaction to an episode of Fear the Walking Dead. This is my reaction to season 7 episode 10 which is called Morning Cloak. A very interesting title. Last episode was a very slow episode. Not much happened. Probably my least favorite Fear episode since maybe season 5 but not much happened and it was just Alicia's dream sequences. Like that's how we can recap it. It was an hour of watching Alicia have these nightmares and dream sequences. And we saw a character, a musician, that I personally didn't really feel connected to. And he ended up dying at the end. That's pretty much my recap of last episode. Hopefully this episode will be better and we'll see more action. We'll see more story progression. But with that said, before we jump into this episode reaction, smash that like button. Subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. No, that's not Padre. Did they completely ignore the previous episode in the previously on? <laughs> it's like they no. even knew. That episode had nothing in it. Another one? No, this is not just any butterfly. This is the morning cloak. Extremely oh, the rare. title of the episode? The and Victor has got the perfect spot for it on the shelf. All you've got to do... Victor has a butterfly collection? I just don't know how collecting these proves I can be one of his rangers. I hear you, kid. I could tell you stories from when I first got out of the academy. What the senior cops called initiation. It was... Victor no asked kid. you to assist me while he's gone? Not spook the kid with your old war stories? Look, this isn't hazing, Ali. It's about how you see the world. He needs a who you ass whooping, I'm just saying. Being. They all began as caterpillars. See, they started as one thing, became something else. Something better. That's what Victor did. Nope, That's I would say it's the opposite survived. with Strand. Show he Victor started off as a butterfly, maybe, something. and he turned into a Wait. snake. That was pretty cool. Is that the same girl that saved Alicia? Take your mask off. Oh, Charlie. It's just a kid. Yeah, well, what does that make you? What do you see? <laughs> We were back when we said. John? Howdy, Charlie. Do you know each other? We did for a spell. She was with us when we tried to stop Teddy. One of Morgan's. So is John Dory Sr. Okay. on Strand's team now? I thought he had principles. Oh, Charlie is in the intro card this time. That's interesting. Unexpected. Well, I've been looking for a way into this place for a while now. I mean, I was... I was so young when everything changed. And every single day since then, it's just been one fight after another fight, after another fight, after another fight. I just don't want to fight anymore. I just want a normal life. And I know that this is where I can do that. Look, I know that you don't trust me. But if you just give me a chance, whatever I can do to prove to you that I want to be here, I'll do it. We have a problem in the infirmary. Huh. Garcia, what happened? Where's Victor? He split off before we got there. And the other rangers? That place was cruel with death. And they didn't make it. Those are I bridge. bet he's going to change his mind about becoming a ranger now. Yeah. What the hell was that? Did they just throw someone down? Garcia jumped? Triple Indy off the ledge. I don't see him down there. Part of the wall now, player. It's what Victor would have wanted. 
What, for him to kill himself? Garcia promised he'd do anything he could to protect this place. If he couldn't do it while he was alive, then... He probably just didn't want to suffer anymore. Wait, what do you mean? He was sick. He had radiation poisoning. I thought this place was safe. It is. And how did that happen? It, it just happened out there. I'm a scout. Well, what was he scouting for? Parts. Our elevators haven't worked since we were attacked. Victor wants them fixed. I mean, what if I can get them for you? Will you let me live here? Charming, no. It's too dangerous. Not necessarily. Are you kidding me? Look what happened to the other scouts. None of them have Charlie's skills. Well, what skills would those be? Ones that allow her to sneak in and out of places undetected. Would I get to live in the tower? Uh, it's Victor's call. But he listens to me. I hate Howard and Strand. I yeah. hope we don't see them again in season eight. Look, things like this are never easy. I get that. But at the end of the day, it's what separates the caterpillars from the butterflies. Or the butterflies from the snakes. That's another angle to look at it. <laughs> what? You've never bowled before? Who's Muhammad? I saw his name under that photo of you two. Were you guys teammates? He was my dad. Muhammad and Ali? Yeah, he, uh, he loved boxing. She's never out. bold, but she knows Muhammad Ali. The bad shit that came with the <laughs> Come on. Hands up. Uh-oh. He's gonna die too, isn't he? Horse. I have a feeling he is. Let me put my mask on. It's not safe in there. Open the door. Now. I mean, she asked for it. I didn't tell you the truth. About what? About why I came to the tower. Morgan sent me. To do what? I'm supposed to turn off the beacon on the roof tonight. Oh, why? okay. Walkers so they can get Grace and the baby out. And then what? They attack? I don't know. Howard was right about you. You made me believe you. You made me help you. When Strand finds out about this... He won't. Of course he will. Because I'm not going to go through with it. Oh, yeah? I'm serious. I won't. I don't want to do it anymore. Why would I believe you? Because I didn't lie about everything. All of those things I said I wanted, a life like I was supposed to have, I still want that. And I thought that I was going to find that with Morgan, but not if I have to put you in danger to get it. So she cares about this guy way more than the people she spent more time with all of a sudden. Okay, I'll believe that. Sometimes the writing is just so shit that... <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel bad for her. Okay, I feel bad, but just a little bit. <laughs> I knew it's gonna come back. There's still a lot of things I haven't done either. Like what? Like that. <laughs> so much better than bowling. All right, well, let's get out of here. Found some places on my patrols where we can hole up for a bit. Till we find something better. Uh oh. Charlie. Radiation? Hey, it's okay. It's okay, I got you. Mr. Dory, you copy? Stay with me, please.
Well, their whole plan is out the window. <laughs> How is she? Stable. What's wrong with her? She was exposed to radiation. Just like the Rangers. No, it's not possible. It must have happened when she was in that building. She probably go check you too. No. Okay, she told me she I was, was just gonna say that. Sometimes that's not enough. There are other ways. Things we can't see. You can treat it, right? June, how bad is it? Given the amount of exposure she's had, she should make the most of everything. Damn. I'm so sorry. So they're gonna kill Charlie before Madison enters. What a convenient way to not have to go through that story. <laughs> Why is Charlie here? What did Morgan send her here to do? Morgan didn't send her. She was telling us the truth. That's a cat. Which is why we have to do everything to protect what we've built here and not let our personal feelings cloud our judgment. What are you talking about? Why did you bring her back here after what we discussed? He knows what's up. And, uh, nice work, all things considered. We'll have to wait for Victor to get back to sign off. But, uh, I think you can safely assume that tomorrow... I just noticed we haven't seen Rainbow. Strand in two episodes. Congratulations. Not that I mind, because he was being... Really obnoxious in the last few episodes that he was in. Is it not contagious? I feel like it is. Scared, are we? So this is why he sent her. Oh. He's gonna get shot, obviously. Or thrown down from the tower. You saw him the light, and then what? And then what? I don't know. Okay, they want this place to change, and that can't happen with Strand. Well, that's where you're wrong, Ali. It's the only way. No! No! Don't do it, please! I'm sorry. It's what Victor would do. You want to know what I would do? Throw both you and Strand down from that tower. I said they're gonna throw him down, and I was right. No. Charlie, what's wrong? Zoe. He was. What is it? Just you kill killed him. him. You killed him. Just you kill him. him. I suggest you back off unless you want to join him. Oh my God. You're a monster. No. He attacked. He left me no choice. I'm just trying to protect this place from those who are trying to undermine it. And if you want this tower to last, I suggest you keep it safe. He's right, Jim. What side are you on here, John? Exactly. I lost everything to that inhospitable world out there. You mean your son? Oh. Because he would be ashamed if he saw this. Yes. They proved anything. Absolutely. We need to protect this place. Look what happened to her out there. He's right. Ali paid the price for what he did. Now it's your turn. If you lay one hand on her, I will kill you myself. Anything happens to me, you're gonna have to answer to Victor. She will. She'll have no problem answering to Strand. Because he knows the same thing that I do. And what's that? He needs me more than he needs you. Yes. If anyone in this tower gets sick. Anyone gets injured, he'll have no one to help them. And this place will fall. Charlie stays with me under my care. That's the deal. Absolutely. Fine. But I suggest you tread carefully. I would suggest you do the same thing, Howard. If you don't want to have your ass thrown down from the tower. I had to say. Because sure, sure. Because I need him to believe I do. Why? There's only one way things are going to change. And that's if I can get in Strand's ear. Mm. Anyone can listen to reason. They just need the right voice telling it to them. I thought it could be Howard. But now it's got to be me. 
I but thought I had Virginia's ears. You know, you were a little too much so there. Much. Dory, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. No matter how much time you have left, you will live to see Strand go down. I will do everything I can to make sure that happens. Take your mask off! Oh, Danny. Exactly we up against out there? You said a hundred dead outside? My friend, you know. Boom. This can make all the difference. Yeah, it's a start. What's scary is what I'm gonna have to do to them. <laughs> oh. All right, that was my reaction to season seven, episode 10 of Fear the Walking Dead, which was called Morning Cloak. Another slow episode, another underwhelming episode. I feel like now we are two episodes in season 7B and not much progress, not much excitement. It hasn't raised my interest even the slightest. So I don't know. I'm just hoping that either they fix their shit or they end fear soon because it's just not going well, like at all. I feel like we're backsliding. Like it was doing okay in the first half and now it's just going downhill and it's just a lot of stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense, but they're just rolling with it. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm just not a fan. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.